I'm Wendy and you're watching Wendy Bakes, where I take your ideas, recipes, ingredients, and suggestions and turn them into something delicious. Today, we are taking this friendly little fellow, the grapefruit, and making it into something yummy. Every morning, I suffer through one of these, just because it's healthy. And today, I want to make it into something yummy, like grapefruit cheesecake. <laughs> right now the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want the bottom of my cake to stick so that when I take it out it'll come out nice and easy. Better put on my trusty apron. For the base of this cheesecake I'm going to need some graham cracker crumbs, some sugar and some butter. So our oven should be preheated to 325. So I'm just going to put this in the oven for that 10 minutes just to make the crust firm. So I'm taking my key ingredient, the lonely grapefruit, and we are going to make it delicious now by zesting it and juicing it, adding lots of sugar. That seems about right. I'm going to roll it first and that way it breaks up some of the juice inside the grapefruit, so it's easier to juice. <laughs> it's so squishy. <laughs> Great sound. It's been 10 minutes, and it should be a little bit more firm now. I'm just going to take it out and let it rest until I'm ready to put the cheesecake base on top. I'm gonna need my mixer for the rest of this. Now we're doing three eight ounce blocks of cream cheese. If you haven't left it out, you can always put it in the microwave for a few seconds. But you probably want to take it out of the tin foil before you microwave it too. Cheesecakes are one of those things that everybody thinks is so hard to make and you know, you really wow a crowd by bringing a cheesecake to a party, but I think it's just because it's such a decadent dessert that nobody ever really bothers to try and make it. But really, it's almost a cheater dessert. It's so easy to make. a cup of sugar and letting the cream cheese and sugar blend together until it's nice and smooth. Now I need a teaspoon of vanilla and three tablespoons of flour. I also need four eggs. One of them is separated. never a problem if you happen to add too much extra vanilla in a cheesecake. Here's the two tablespoons of our grapefruit juice and one tablespoon of zest or rind. I'm now scraping down the sides, that way nothing gets missed. Now I'm adding the eggs one at a time. So the cheesecake needs to bake at 450 for the first little while, for the first 10 minutes, so I'm going to reset our oven now. Time to clean up. That didn't take long at all, did it? So I've reduced the temperature down to 250. It's going to stay there for another half hour so the cheesecake just turns out nice and smooth and it has that nice brown on top. It's 
still going to be slightly wobbly in the center. That's okay, we don't have any cracks, it looks beautiful. This smells great. To finish our cheesecake, we're going to put a top on it. So I'm going to need some sugar, cornstarch. I'm going to add water and quarter cup of reserve juice. What a pretty pink color. Eventually, we'll turn it into something clear. I have the reserved egg yolk from uh, when we baked the cake. I'm going to temper this. So I'm going to add a small amount of the sugar mixture into here first, and then I'm going to pour the whole thing in there. Ow. It is kind of jello-like consistency pudding like and we're going to let it cool a little bit before uh, before putting it onto the top of the cheesecake. I'm going to attempt to transfer this to the cake plate without it uh, breaking. Perhaps a knife. No, I've never had this happen before. <laughs> ah, here we go. And finally, a twist of grapefruit. Sweet, tasty, I like it. If you want to try this recipe or any variation, please check out my website, wendybakes.com. Uh, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter, and if you want to see me try one of your recipes or ingredients, please leave me a comment below. Now have really fun baking, and we'll see you next time.